Hey YouTube, what I'm doing with these packs now, I'm taking the leads off and I'm soldering the tabs. I'm soldering uh, the tabs together. So getting rid of all of these, these wires. And it's uh, turning out to be remarkably easy. And I'm gonna show you one. So let me get back to this pack. Yeah, that's good enough. So yeah, I got this nice little uh, hooky kind of exacto knife blade that works fantastic to take these um, this heat shrink off. Using my T12 solder and station. Love this thing. Look at this. Bam. So easy. That's out the way. Now, just kind of straighten the tabs out. Kind of want to bend them out a little bit. That way, when you put the pack together, they they kind of have some tension like that, right? There we go. Then I'm gonna apply a little flux. Just a little, you don't have to get too crazy with it. And then I got a little flux brush. And I'll just smooth that out a little bit. All right, like that. And that flux is just going to make sure, uh, you know, it's going to clean those uh, nickel tabs real nice and make the solder adhere to them. So now that we did that, we're just going to, I'm going to go through and put uh, a layer of solder all the way across the tab. Just like, just like that. Just like that. Don't get too heavy, don't get too crazy, but cover the whole little section there. we go it's one side down I'm gonna move this out the way I'm gonna bring in my pack Ooh. I'm gonna have to zoom out a little bit and then oh I'm getting ahead of myself I need to uh, prep these. So, same thing. Little flux. We're gonna put some solder. I'm gonna tend these up just like we did the other side. And there we go. Now we're ready. Drop this down like so. You want it to be on a flat surface so that everything is level. You don't want your batteries to be twisted or anything like that. You want to be nice and flat. And line this guy up. Yeah. Get it nice and squared off. All right. And um, 
I'm using these clamps. I'm not putting much pressure with these clamps, so don't, don't, uh, don't put on the troll suit and go down, down to the basement and start uh, telling me how I'm, I'm crushing these batteries or something like that. You know how you got some of you guys are. I'm just putting these on. I'm putting very light pressure on it, okay? And it's insulated, so it's not going to short out. Same thing over here. And make make sure your terminals don't touch this. That's it. Real light. Nothing nothing too crazy. And then so I've got these little needle nose pliers here. I've got some solder. I'm gonna use the solder to kind of wet one side of the um, tab so I, I get um, uh, so I get uh, thermal conductivity onto it and then once the solder is melted on the inside those two layers of solder that I put in I'm just going to grab it with this and squeeze so here we go let's wet one side That's it. It's on there like nobody's business. Solid. Solid as a rock. There we go. So yeah, I think uh, <clears throat> I I think I might be going to because I've got uh, I've got eight of these for 24 volts. Uh, I think I just might build two two 12 volt and then put them in series just so I can manage it a little bit better. You know, carry it a little bit better. I mean, it's ultimately going to go in a in a spot where it's gonna stay, and um, I'm not gonna be moving it around. But you know, you get eight of these together, and that gets pretty heavy. Uh, if you watch my other video with this, this will have the zip ties through it. And I know some people <laughs> complained about the zip ties, like that was a you know some redneck uh, ingenuity or something like that. Hey, maybe it is. I don't know. But, I mean, zip ties are used in industry all the time. These, these came zip tied. So, uh, you know, whatever. If you want to put something better in, into it to hold these together, then by all means, do it. So another thing I want to address, some people uh, said that this these cells needed um, <laughs> needed some Kapton tape in between them. That's just false. Okay. These are electrically connected right here. These are in series. Okay. They do not need Kapton tape between there because they're already connected in series here. And if you don't believe me, um, I'm going to link, link down in the description. Uh, a video by Will Prowse where he's tearing down a Battleborn battery. And the Battleborn batteries are exactly the same way that this battery is currently set up right now. It has nickel strips that are um, spot welded just like this, although it's, a, it's one whole nickel sheet uh, that are spot welded just like this and they are pressed together just like this and they are connected at the top just like this although they, they have a piece of copper at the top 
the same way. Watch the video. If you think you need, uh, you know, if you think you need something in between there, by all means, put it in there. But it's it's not necessary. Um, if you when you buy these cells, they actually come with a fiber insulator. You could put it in there if you feel like it. But uh, it's not necessary. But anyways, uh, that was super simple. And uh, you know, all that rat's nest, all that rat nest that was on top of the battery is now gone. Okay, so I like that a whole lot better. So now you can actually solder your, um, you know, your balance leads. I'm gonna do another capacity test. So see you in a little bit. All right, guys. Uh, so I've got my battery packs. Uh, these uh, battery hookup, 100 amp hour uh, cell packs. I've got the wires removed, and I've got them grouped in two 12 volt packs, and I've got the tabs soldered together. So let's take a look at that. Still getting used to this thing. All right. Uh, yeah. So look, check that out. Nicely grouped in the two 12 volt packs. I might just combine them here I'm not sure I just wanted to kind of uh, group them like this to make it a little bit easier to manage you know move around and it's got this you know the big zip ties in there and you know these packs are like put together very solid you know they're not janky at all with the with these tabs soldered and these zip ties in it they are they're solid you know you could put some you could shoot some kind of glue or adhesive in between but I don't think you're gonna need it. Like literally, it's very solid with uh, the zip ties and these, believe it or not, these tabs being soldered together actually adds a lot to the rigidity of these packs. So uh, yeah, I uh, got the shunt back online here. Uh, we'll do a capacity test on this. Probably tonight, and uh, I need a solder on my my balance leads so I can uh, monitor the cell individual cell balance. Gonna get us another discharge capacity test of this pack and see if uh, directly uh, uh, soldering these tabs together and getting rid of that big rat rat's nest of wires, uh, uh, which was basically just a nice little heater on the top. Maybe we'll pull a better capacity. Anyways, we'll get to to that in just a minute. All right, guys. So I got the battery topped off. I've got um, the uh, balance leads on, so I can check and see the cell voltages. Uh, I actually went through and topped off each cell individually to 3.65. So we were. We're jam-packed full of electrons. We're going to see if we get a better capacity with these tabs soldered and all those wires removed. All right, let's turn on the inverter. See, just the fan on, pulling nine amps. Let's turn on the heater. Is the heater gonna come on? There we go. So we're pulling like almost 70 amps. So that's an interesting uh, effect actually. Uh, I don't know if you can see this. Uh, it's too overexposed. So anyways, I'll just tell you. <clears throat> cell number five is pulled down more than the others. That's because where it's reading the voltage at. So these voltage readings are going to be wonky. This, uh, this is actually going to end up having to come off too, and this is going to have to get soldered. So 
this would this would be fine if there there were two BMSs that could actually run in series but since I'm gonna have one BMS this extra wire in between is going to throw off readings so this won't this won't fly so I'll end up after I do this discharge test I'm actually gonna have to connect this whole battery and uh, solder these tabs too and remove these all right I'll be back so um, yeah it was basically the same 107.74 uh, uh, so other than that uh, the wires all those wires <laughs> that were on it the last time didn't make any difference uh just you know being messy that's it uh i didn't uh, get any more capacity by removing them it just uh, made it a little bit cleaner so yeah you can leave those on and you're going to pull the same capacity as take them off uh, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and remove uh, the wires here in the middle and uh, fuse these uh, packs together so that it's just one solid pack. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I just really realized that there's an issue uh, <clears throat> with having this length of wire in between the two because the uh, balance lead on this cell pack, since I've got it connected here on this this side, it's having to read this cell pack through this length of wire and there's you know power going through that so it's getting uh, a miss you know it's it's reading lower than what it actually is so I'm actually going to uh, connect these together uh, I'll go ahead and put instead of uh, just the two um, big zip ties I'll put four and then I'll probably Maybe just use a piece of board as the base so it doesn't sag. Or at least, you know, if I'm transporting, if I'm moving it around, because I, I really think if I'm moving it around with this size, it's going to potentially sag here and maybe, maybe uh, compromise the, um, uh, the tab, tabbing material. But anyways, there you go. Uh, so it was exactly the same uh, results, roughly, and... Uh, it's just really a matter of do you want to clean it up or do you just want to leave it the way it is? All right, see you guys next time.